Hello! Hi! I'm Troy Horn. I'm Elizabeth Marcel Horn. And this is Hollywood, Bollywood, Denverwood! <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood, Bollywood, Denverwood, where you learn how to start your acting career no matter where you live. And now, your host, Elizabeth and Troy Horn. So today we're talking about Wonder-Filled Wednesday, at least that's the title of it. So Wonder-Filled Wednesday, what does that mean? So uh, it means that as an actor, one of your primary jobs is to be filled with wonder, to observe the world around you with interest. So <clears throat> Wonder-Filled Wednesday is about the artistic side of being an actor. Okay. Because quite honestly, if you're not doing that, you don't really have anything to promote. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, but, um, so let's think about it here. So okay. acting is part of the performing arts True. umbrella, right? And some of the other arts, um, so there are the performing arts. There mm. are musicians, there are dancers, mm. musicians play or sing, right. dancers dance. Mm. There are the, you know, the visual arts, um, painters paint, sculptors sculpt. What does an actor do? What? I don't know. What do you guys do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> an actor lives. Mm. We become. So as an, <clears throat> as an actor, um, your job is to live truthfully in imaginary circumstances. Okay. Okay? Live truthfully in imaginary circumstances. So, it's really all about the imagination. You have to work really hard here mm. um, <clears throat> because you might have to imagine that you're tasting a lemon and you've never tasted a lemon. Right. <clears throat> so you want to go taste a lemon. Right. But there are some other experiences you may have to imagine vividly that you may not be able to or wish to have. Right. You yeah. may have to play that you've lost a limb, yeah. right? Right. And um, so I certainly don't recommend getting your arm chopped off as a form of, a, right. <laughs> you know, expanding your acting abilities, but you can get in touch with pain and loss mm -hmm. through experiences in your own life, through knowing and caring about other people. Right. So, I mean, like, kind of, kind of like sometimes replacing um, the situation with something that's very similar. Yes. Okay, that's kind of like, it's funny that you say that because, you know, looking back, looking back, no, looking back, <laughs> looking back at all this, this what stuff, I live <laughs> <laughs> looking back at all this stuff, it's like, I remember when we were doing Rent and, you know, it's it's a funny story because, uh, well, it's funny now, it wasn't so funny then, but um, when we were doing Rent and my first week or two or three, um, they called me in and, Michael, if you're watching this, Thank you, but at the time I was not very happy with you. But Michael Greif, the director, called me in and he said, we're not believing or connecting with your loss of angel, so we need for you to really lose it and we need to see that you can do it right now. And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And so I was there with him and our show, show um, director John was there and and John, if you're watching, hi. Um, they were all in the room, and it was like, you know, these little neon fluorescent lights and a pianist and me and those people. And they're like, okay, so we're going to have you sing it. We want to see you, um, you know, kind of go into that space right then, right now. Ready, go. And these guys started playing. I'm like, first, I was livid because I was like, I brought my family out here. We moved from L.A. It's like. These guys could be thinking about firing me if I can't find a way to, you know, get into this character. And, you know, it's funny, you know, because I was able to replace it, you know, with the idea of, you know, well, losing my cousin at the time, you know. And, and so it's like, for me, that was just kind of like where I went in addition to the anger <laughs> and thought that they could be saying that, you know, if... I don't do it, they're going to move my family back to L.A. after we just got there, so, I mean, that's... So many things to talk about. Oh! Thanks for that story. 
You're so not only was he talking about the imagination, mm. um, he was talking about a couple other things. One was um, substitution. Mm. So um, that's why we have a wonderful acting teacher. She like <laughs> sees it all, right? So instead of thinking about Angel, he thought about his cousin who had mm. just died. Mm. Um, that's a substitution. And then there's also um, the redirection of the emotions you were feeling Ooh, into <laughs> into the emotion that is appropriate for the scene, right? And um, I tell actors all the time, um, anytime you have nerves when you have to perform, oh my gosh, what a gift. They are a gift. Yeah. They Not only do they help you perform at a higher level, just like if you had to run a race, you would have those nerves and they would help you run faster. Not only that, but they also give you something to work with. Instead of being at zero, mm -hmm. you might be here with nerves and you just kind of have to redirect them over here to the excitement or the sadness or the anger or the frustration or indignation or whatever you may be feeling in the scene. It's so much easier to redirect those emotions than to come from nowhere. You can certainly come from nowhere. Right. But, um, and that's why you need to be in acting classes. <laughs> right? <laughs> really, really cool. So, um, about Wonderfilled Wednesday, observe the world around you in vivid detail. Hmm. Everywhere you go, look at it as if it were a set. Okay. Um, look at what materials are the walls made of, what materials are the furniture made of, what are the colors, what are the textures, touch things, see how they feel. And then when you're home, when you're going to sleep, close your eyes cool. and recreate that environment in your mind. I like that. It's training the imagination. It's like the tip of the iceberg. We have a lot. We're going to do a lot of fun stuff together. But yeah. so like when I so when I get home, you know, like after like kind of while I'm walking around, envision the, the day, see what's going on, see how I feel, see how things smell, and then when I get home in the evening. Close my eyes and visualize it and see it in my imagination. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's cool. And ask yourself, what's right in front of me? What's Gold. over here? What's over here? What's above me? What's mm. behind me? What am I sitting on or standing right. on? Right. Um, you know, just uh, let's just start with that. The yeah. environments. Wonder filled Wednesday. Be wonder filled with the things that are surrounding you, and use you spend this time to learn what they feel like, what they smell like, what your experience is in that moment. There. You know what's a really fun thing to do it with? What's that? A cup of hot chocolate. Oh. Get your I cup of hot chocolate, more. you explore the cup, the lid, the the flavor, the smell, the taste. Um, Starbucks hot chocolate or just regular hot chocolate? Any hot <laughs> chocolate. It can be a cup you make at home in your own little mug. Right. It can be Starbucks drive through or your favorite corner restaurant if they serve hot chocolate. Mm, I think I need to get one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go do that. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Hollywood. Bye. Hollywood. Hollywood. Never was. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.